Welcome back guys, in today's division video we are doing another high end weapon review, this time of the military S858 which is a burst fire rifle, you can purchase the blueprint for this for Phoenix credits in the DZ06 safe house which is located at the top of the level 32 dark zone area, then you can come back and craft it using high materials and high end division tech, as always we'll take a look at the attributes that I'm rolling on it. Don't worry about my actual DPS attributes. This is just a quick look at what attachments I have on the weapon. As for fire rate and magazine, those will be the same for everyone. 650, my magazine is doubled, so the magazine will be 20 for you, unless you then put on different mods to increase your magazine size. Here we have the attributes, the talents on the weapon they'll be using. And on this one that I've rolled here, there's a chance to instantly refill the magazine on a kill, which I found I really needed on this weapon. Now, we're going to look at the weapon's spread here when firing, and the spread is pretty good, it's quite tight, even when in a moment we move further back and just fire off as quickly as possible. So in terms of accuracy, stability, it is quite good. But this weapon review is going to be different from ones we normally do here. Normally, there's something we're recommending about the gun, be it that the gun is fun to use, be it that it is a beast for PvE, a beast for PvP dropping enemies quickly. That is not going to be the case with this weapon review. This weapon review is more of a be careful when purchasing this blueprint. Now, not everybody has the time to grind out the game and get all the Phoenix credits in the world. Some people Phoenix credits are precious to them, they don't get as many as someone like me who's putting in a lot of hours into the game. So this is a weapon that oddly enough I am not recommending you buy, which is a bit strange for me to do, but hear me out. So. When going through the dark zone, especially with friends, normally I like to be at the front, causing the most damage, chipping things down, friends behind me helping me out, and that was something that I couldn't really do with this gun. When I went up, a friends was actually helping me take out enemies a lot, they were getting the final kill, which is all good, things like that, but I was not contributing enough to the team. Had I been going solo, if you are a solo player, I'm sure this gun would have been enough to take people out, had I been more cautious with it, but... Although the damage values that you're seeing coming up are quite good, they're not too bad. I'm not finishing off many of the enemies. You're about to see here, I had to reload and someone comes in and finishes off the top for me. I found that if I was in a situation where I could have got into a bit of trouble, like here, I pulled out my Vector straight away. Now, that's not normally something I do when I'm trying to get footage for a weapon review. I'll stick to the weapon and try to use it in all situations. But this is a gun I just did not feel comfortable with and couldn't honestly feel comfortable recommending to people in its current state. And finding that the damage that's coming out on the versions of it I'm rolling is equal to that of, say, a Black Market AK-47, which can fully automatically fire, which I do think gives it a big advantage over this weapon, especially with its superior clip size. So if I could get a weapon that fires in full auto with more in the magazine is causing more damage, why would I go for this? Now, I tried to change up the playstyle here and use an ACOG scope, but I'd sit back, help the team out in that way. But again, it just didn't seem that great of a strategy with this weapon. My teammates were still coming through, helping out. So this is just why I can't personally recommend this weapon. It's going to cost you a lot of Phoenix credits to just get the blueprint and high-end division tech to just keep crafting them until you get a good one. But if someone out there has an amazing roll on one of these, has some great attachments they could recommend, then please feel free to do so in the comment section below because I'd love for a nice first roll rifle to be out there. But I think I'm going to have to wait to get a high end foul drop hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and you've spent your phoenix credit more wisely than i have if you have enjoyed it a like rating is super appreciated as always thank you guys for watching and i'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video